Thank you for choosing Ocean Optics' most innovative spectrometer to date, Jazz. The compact, modular design and Ethernet connectivity makes Jazz the first of its kind. A completely autonomous spectrometer, perfect for both laboratory and field work. In this video, we'll demonstrate the basic steps and functions of your new Jazz spectrometer. Your complete jazz system includes several standard items. Let's take a look. This is your new jazz spectrometer. The modular structure houses a powerful microprocessor, an onboard OLED display, an optional rechargeable battery, and Ethernet connection. If you turn the jazz unit over, you'll find the serial number and a recommended date for your next wavelength calibration. If you included SpectraSuite software with your Jazz purchase, you should have also received two CDs. The orange sleeve contains your SpectraSuite software. Flip the sleeve over to find your SpectraSuite password. You'll need this for software installation and for updates, so it's a good idea to keep it handy. The Technical Resources CD has operating instructions for all of Ocean Optics products. Jazz comes preloaded with the wavelength calibration coefficients in an EEPROM, but we still provide a hard copy wavelength calibration sheet. Save this in a safe place in case you need it later. Data storage is possible by means of an SD card, and a DC power supply enables the Jazz's lithium ion battery to recharge. You can also have the option to recharge over USB or a power over Ethernet enabled network. Finally, there are two cables that can connect your Jazz to a PC, the Ethernet and mini USB cables. The Ethernet cable will allow you to connect to SpectraSuite through the internet, while the mini USB allows you to connect directly to the computer. But don't connect your spectrometer just yet. You'll need to install the SpectraSuite software before you do. For further help on installation, be sure to check out our online video tutorials. The first thing you may notice about your Jazz is its colorful display of buttons. It's important to familiarize yourself with the buttons as they may have more than one function. There are four colored buttons next to the OLED display. The yellow button saves data to the SD card. Blue is used to return home to the main screen. The green button accepts a command, while the red X button is to cancel or return back to a previous screen. There are four additional white buttons with characters, as well as a red power button on the opposite side of the display. The white buttons are used to navigate through screen displays and to select options. Before we take any measurements, remove the cap from the spectrometer to allow light to enter. Now we are ready to turn on Jazz. It will take a few seconds for the Jazz to power up. The home screen on your Jazz will show the following measurement wizard options absorbance, reflectance and transmittance, irradiance, and tools. To take an absorbance, reflectance, or irradiance measurement, press the corresponding button and you should see a screen with the option of reference. Point your jazz to an external light source or connect it to a light source in order to capture your reference. Once in position, hit the triangle button to store. You should now see a screen that has a choice between reference and dark. Since we already have the reference, we want to store the dark. Do this by screwing the cap back on the spectrometer or blocking the light source. When in position, press the pound button to store. You should see the same screen again, but this time with the choice sample. Press the circle button and you will see the spectrum just as you would in SpectraSuite. In order to get to scope mode, return to the main menu by pressing the blue home button. Once there, select tools, followed by manual control. This should lead you to scope mode, which, once selected, will produce a spectrum. The red X button will return you to the previous screen where you can select acquisition parameters. 
This will allow you to tailor your graph by changing integration time, boxcar, and averages. The integration time can be changed manually or automatically. Connecting your Jazz to a PC is easy. To directly connect, plug the mini USB side of the cable into the back of the spectrometer and plug the USB side of the cable into your PC. A found new hardware message should appear once your Jazz is connected and turned on. Select Install Software Automatically and then click Next. After a few moments, the process will be complete and the wizard will alert you that your spectrometer is ready to use. Click Finish. You are now ready to use SpectraSuite software. In Windows, simply click on the SpectraSuite icon to run the program. Once it starts, point the Jazz's aperture at a light source. Notice the spectra change? Now let's connect Jazz to your PC through Ethernet. Connect the Ethernet cable from the Jazz Unit's Ethernet connector to a network hub. Turn on the Jazz Spectrometer and run SpectraSuite. Under the Spectrometer menu, go to Jazz Network Spectrometer. Here you will be prompted for an IP address. To find the IP address, first press the blue home button. Now, press the red X button. This will take you back to the Jazz menu. From there, select Network and then View Settings. Your IP address will appear at the top of the screen. Insert the IP address into Spectra Suite and select Next. Your Jazz spectrometer should now appear on the left-hand side of your screen. To display the graph, click the plus sign to the left of the spectrometer image shown on your screen. Then click the plus sign to the right of the Acquisitions option. Right-click Channel 0 and choose Spectrum Graph. Point the Jazz's aperture at a light source and you'll notice a spectrum almost identical to the one you obtained using a direct connection. With its simple, versatile, innovative structure, the Jazz plays second fiddle to none. Now, doesn't that sound good? If you want to learn more about Jazz, just refer back to the Ocean Optics Technical Resources CD, or you can visit us online at oceanoptics.com. You can also contact us via email at infooceanoptics.com. At